Hello, hello. Welcome to our fourth episode of Best Kept Secrets of Sustainability. I am super happy because this is an out of schedule episode and it's I, I wanted to uh, take the opportunity to speak about the landfills that they have recently found in the Atacama Desert because this is the perfect example on how dull we are with the information we give and with the information we receive which is which astonished me because if we are actually willing to have a more sustainable industry and a more sustainable planet in general then the information can't be what we have been receiving which is that Atacama Desert has a clandestine landfill nearby Santiago which is the capital where we were like they deposit more or less 39,000 tons uh, a year out of the 59,000 tons of secondhand garments that they receive. Chile is the first secondhand buyer for garments in Latin America. And that these garments are traveling from all around the world, mainly from Asia, Europe, and North America, to go to the dumps. And my question is so, what are we learning from this? What are we extracting from this? So, and then we have, for those that are a bit more informed, we have also information such as every second there is a full, tr a full truck that is depositing garments in a landfill. Uh, that's a global information. But so what's the problem? No, what's a landfill? So a landfill is a place where we um, put the trash we don't want to see in the city. As easy as that. And it's good. A, because we don't leave the trash in the city and B, because we avoid health issues within the city because all of these uh, garments, of course, are decomposing and if they decompose while well, we are all together there, uh, then we are breathing all the chemicals from this decomposition and we're going to, we're going, we're getting there. Uh, so we create these landfills and uh, if they're not clandestine, they're supposed to follow a few regulations, but they don't always do, mainly when they are not in developed countries. Unfortunately, most of the landfills are not in developed countries, so most of the landfills are in terrible conditions. So what happens is that if there are chemicals or anything hazardous, which there's always, and there's a leakage, then you don't contaminate the area. You contaminate all the surroundings, creating an environmental and most likely a social impact as well. In fact, landfills, they have environmental and social impacts. What are the environmental impacts? And let's, let's start by there because we have been speaking about that in the previous episodes. And I highly invite you to watch them if you are interested in this topic. So the main issue we are creating in the planet is the emission of greenhouse gases. And the most obvious thing that we can see from a landfill is one of the other issues, environmental issues we're having, which is waste accumulation. We're creating too much waste. We're making many more things than what we are not, not just needing, but consuming. And what are these greenhouse gas emissions? Because we also hear about this all the time. Greenhouse gases are many, and among them we have CO2, which we always listen to it, methane, which we also somehow listen to it as well. The biggest methane producer in the industry comes from the leather uh, segment, and also from the, from the landfills. And what's the problem with methane? Methane is, it holds up to 80 times, 84 times more the heat from the sun than CO2, which we always uh, hear about, but methane is much worse than CO2 in this case. And what happens if it traps the heat from the sun 80 times, 84 times more? well that the we accelerate 84 times more climate change uh, we all know that 
we all know or we all pretend not to know but we like it's an obvious thing that the planet is getting hotter and hotter and methane is one of those reasons why um and so this is one of the it's the biggest greenhouse gas emission that comes out of a landfill then there's also emissions of co2 and uh, water vapor and hydrogen and many others which accelerate as well climate change another environmental impact that a landfill has is that we destroy wildlife to create a landfill so we destroy part of the fauna and the flora of the area even though it's in a desert but in a desert even though there is little flora and fauna there is still flora and fauna and landfills are not always in deserts so we destroy the wildlife of that area to accumulate waste and this also brings to a real big social issue as well because we also um, destroy the, so the population in the area. Landfills are well known to not be in developed countries. Usually they are in, deve in developing countries, in developing economies. So no regulations for them. And uh, a lot of that brings a lot of extra pollution. And then people living in the trash. And it is also well known that people living less than a thousand miles away from the landfill, they have up to 12% more chances of getting uh, malformation problems. So it is a social issue. And in all this, we're not even taking into consideration all the environmental impact that was created for creating the materials that we didn't even use and as well as the social impact. Uh, the, the latest years we've been speaking on how cruel the fashion industry has been towards society, such as mainly women, most of them underage, underpaid. Uh, Ethiopians, nowadays, they're getting paid $36 a month on average uh, when they are working in a factory uh, in a garment factory so imagine how how many things we are leaving behind without thinking about it that it goes to waste and that 85 percent of the fabrics we are producing in a year ends up in a landfill in less than one year of production so we are forgetting about all of this and the problem does not stay at the fact that it's a clandestine landfill with a lot of clothes the the problem is much more and that's why i really wanted to skip the episode that was supposed to be instead of this one uh this week because i think it is like i wanted to take the chance that it's a an on topic um, uh subject just to make us reflect a bit more on what information we are receiving and what information we are giving. What are the solutions we have for a landfill? Uh, let's say that I would say two are the main ones. And the first one is enhancing more in circular economy. So recycling more, uh, composting more and upcycling more. And that is something that we can do it as individuals. And it is extremely important we do it. But we need to ask companies to do it because they are having a much bigger impact than what we can cause as individuals. Um, and if we are not asking for companies to do so, they will not do it themselves because they're too comfortable doing and operating the same way they have been always doing. Uh, and the other way we can avoid uh, this massive amount of waste accumulation is the overproduction we've been having in the last years. So fast fashion, wrongly, they think that it's a recent thing, but it comes since the 18th century because fast fashion started as soon as 
um, this, the sewing machine started. Of course, at that moment, it was really fast. And uh, the massification accelerated even more after World War II. And then after the 2000s, it's been impossible to follow the pace. Uh, so it's not something new. But definitely the way we have been producing in the past 20 years, it's impossible because we can't produce things just to fulfill shelves, knowing that we're not going to sell something. Remember that if you're not paying for something, someone else is going to pay for it. So if you're buying a shirt because it's extremely cheap and you don't care and you say, well, I could, I am going to buy it and I'll use it just for this occasion. In any case, it's very cheap. Remember that all the sweat from that person, and it's not one, it's many, that created that shirt, that made it possible for you to wear it for that occasion, uh, it's super, super not worth it. It's already not worth it, but it's even worse. So let's, let's be a bit more conscious and let's also, this is also an invitation for you to inform more yourself on why something is such a big deal, such as a landfill. Um, and it's not just Atacama. Unfortunately, there's many clandestine landfills in the world and there's extremely too many that are not clandestine but that are under terrible conditions. Um, I really hope this information um, gets to you and I really hope it's, it rings a bell. This is not... I, I, I can see that it's not like a fun topic, but it's the uncomfortable topic that we need to solve a real problem that we are having and that we are causing ourselves. Um, thank you very much for listening. Please share this information with anyone you know that can be interested in this. Uh, we're too many interested in the fashion industry and it should be our responsibility to make it a much better industry. I, um, I swear that the next episode, it's going to be completely different and much more fun because it's about circular economy. We're going to be upcycling things physically. So super cool. It's one of my favorite things and I really hope to see you there. Um, and well, again, thank you very much. Please subscribe to our channel, comment. If you have any questions, I'll be super happy to answer them and hope to see you soon. Thank you again. And I am Diana Janes. See you in the next Best Kept Secrets of Sustainability by Diana Janes Consulting.